we're at Buena Vista Creek in Vista, California. And what we're looking at here is a very dense school of western mosquito fish. And these are a species of freshwater fish that are simply known as mosquito fish to a lot of people, or a more generic name, Gambusia or Gambesi. These are not to be confused with the eastern mosquito fish in the eastern United States. Those are slimmer. These are kind of fat in you know the midsection towards the front. In fact, a woman stopped me while I was filming this and asked if I was taking pictures. And she thought these were tadpoles. So she didn't take a very close look. I know the water is very murky and dirty. In fact, it stinks around this area. So I suspect some sewage made its way into this creek somehow. It's easy to mistake these mosquito fish for tadpoles at a glance, but when you look closely, they have all the fins that fish do, so they're definitely not tadpoles. Furthermore, tadpoles are slower to respond. They have slower reflexes than fish. Um, generally, when I see tiny fish like this, they dart away when you come within, say, two meters. So because of their tendency to dart away within a two meter radius, I couldn't get close enough to get high quality macro footage and this is the best I could do with a distant zoom. Several counties in California hand out mosquito fish at no charge to residents that have man-made fish ponds. However, it's illegal to dump them into the wild because they're an invasive species after all. Mosquito fish are named thusly because of their ability to eat a large volume of mosquito larvae relative to their own body weight. In one day they can eat 42 to 167 percent of their own body weight in mosquito larvae. Mosquito fish also eat zooplankton, small insects, and other insect larvae, as well as organic detritus. The downside of introducing these fish everywhere, which has been done worldwide, is that they kill off the native fish with their aggressive behavior, and they tend to dominate in these murky, low oxygen environments that bigger fish can't thrive in. Mosquito fish were intentionally introduced in many areas in the world with a goal of decreasing mosquito populations and helping to eradicate malaria. And here you can see a bunch of them just darting away. They have a tendency to do that every now and then. They're just very fast, wary fish. In the 1920s to the 1950s, mosquito fish introductions were a major factor in the eradication of malaria in South America, in southern Russia, and in Ukraine. The mosquito fish that look fatter in the front are the females, while the males look slimmer all the way through. The mosquito fish have a gestation period of about 16 to 28 days. The average brood size of a female is about 60 young. Newborn mosquito fish are about 8 to 9 millimeters long and grow 0.2 millimeters per day, so you can imagine how fast they grow. The optimal growth temperature range for this fish is 24 to 30 Celsius, and death can occur above 35 Celsius, while growth is just slowed outside of the optimal temperature range. For male mosquito fish, sexual maturity is achieved within 43 to 62 days whereas female mosquito fish reach sexual maturity in 21 to 28 days. The average mosquito fish lifespan is about one year, and the maximum in the wild is supposedly one and a half years. However, mosquito fish kept as pets can live much longer, up to three years. Male mosquito fish lifespans are considerably shorter than the hardier females. The western mosquito fish is a very hardy species and has a high tolerance for high salt, low oxygen, extreme temperatures all the way from freezing to 35 Celsius, and pollution. So it has become a noxious pest where it was introduced in Australia.